Similarly, the Nigerian Labour Congress yesterday paid a solidarity visit to the suspended Chairman Labour Party, Julius Aburi, at the national headquarters of the party in Abuja. Joe Ajero, President of NLC, assessed the level of destruction done by alleged imposter. Recall that the Federal High Court in Abuja issued an order restraining the, party, the Labour Party's national chairman, the party's secretary, and two orders from acting as the party's national officials amidst roller coaster with the leadership of the Labour Party. Ajero reinstated, suspended Julius Aburi as a national chairman, Labour Party. He also stated that Nigerian workers will be compelled to occupy residential homes of suspected imposters, who they stated orchestrated the suspension of Aburi as national chairman of the party. We went in there to assess the level of destruction, you know, done by the thieves that came at night. And uh, I think they should be, that qualifies them to go in for a criminal prosecution well if it's your house you won't break window to enter your house you won't destroy anything to enter your house so uh, those are some of the things we have seen and we have reinforced our commitment you know that this party belongs to all of us you know that this party you know is a child of circumstance and that you know as trustees of this party we can't watch it you know destroyed by people who don't have any stake or who hardly have any stake in this part and we will not stop at that we will move ahead to make sure that you know this party recovers all that it lost to the locusts all the days that the locusts have eaten and the canker worm will be restored to the party for anybody or group of people to think that they will sabotage or derail our ideological movement we will resist it with the last drop of our blood. This is formed by the NLC and TUC. It is our party. Nobody can come from the blues and declare himself as the chairman or secretary of our party without our consent. It's not done. Such people, if they attempt to come in here next time, all their properties, all their houses will convert it to Labour Party offices. The people that are pioneering this to sub sabotage us, let's announce here that we know your fathers. If you continue this way, we'll go after your fathers. The suspended Labour National Chairman, Abure, while expressing appreciation to the Delegation of Workers' Union Committee to a better Nigeria. We are here because the president of NLC has deemed it uh, necessary at this point in time to come and say hello to the party chairman and uh, rub minds with him. But as you know, president of the largest labor center in Africa cannot move like a thief in the night the way other people move. So he has come right at noon in broad daylight, even though most politics are done at midnight. But we workers, that is the difference that Labour Party brings to the table. We do ask openly so that you know where we stand. I want to state here clearly that uh, I remain committed to the struggle for a new Nigeria. I want to say that no man, no woman can stop an idea whose time has come. Um, the time has come for Nigerians to take back their country. A new Nigeria, I believe, is possible. And no amount of uh, harassment, intimidation, no amount of household, no amount of uh, uh, falsificated stories will deter us from that pursuit. We refuse to be di distracted. We we'll continue to pursue our court case. We are in court because they stole our mandate. Uh, we will continue to remain in court till that mandate is um, recovered. Uh, we will not rest on our own till we we'll, um, reposition Nigeria for greatness. Uh, we remain committed to this struggle and um, I must assure Nigerians that uh, we remain um, undoubted. I uh, will continue to pursue the cause for Nigerians and uh, we will not rest on our oars until victory is sure. According to reports, the High Court insisted that Julius Saburi will remain suspended as a chairman of the Labour Party pending the hearing and determination of the suits challenging his continued stay in office.